Good morning. I already have the cat in position. Look at this. He's already in the lap. Boop. He's in my lap today. It is interesting that he's there, yes. He, well, you know what? He didn't sleep on the bed with me last night. He didn't. He didn't sleep with me last night. Where were you? What were you up to? Was he watching the feeder waiting for it to go off? I don't know. Little guy. Maybe. Morning, everybody. <laughs> Kevin slept with Brandon under the couch. Oh, yeah, that's probably mm -hmm. it. He is Kepler's second favorite person. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> he was out partying. Were you out together? Oh, such purrs. Such purrs. Yeah, I was, uh, so one of the things I did last night was that, um, I, I said, or I, instead of, uh, putting the air on cool, I put it, I put it on heat because it was cold outside. Yes, it was cold outside. So I, I set it so it couldn't drop below a certain point, and then I went to bed because it didn't want to be too cold, and I was still a little worried because I knew if he was on the bed then it would get really well. Actually, that might be why he wasn't on the bed. Because he was too warm? Well, he probably wasn't too warm. He was probably comfortable, mm. you know? Because when I drop the air, it gets real cold. And when it gets real cold, he's like, hey, man. And then, <laughs> I need some of your body heat. And then we cuddle. That's why he likes you better. You're warmer than I am. Sure. I have other redeeming qualities than my warmth. <laughs> For a cat. I hope. It's a treat, not a trick. We promise. Tiny Eddie's garage sale denim pies. <laughs> you could we get... took all our old blue jeans and put them in a pie. You could get a denim pie at the store. But I got them here. They're a quarter of the price. 1050 bits from an east who says Eddie Extra Life draws near. What are we eating when we get there? Also, Mal. I notice you do not currently have Kindle covers listed on Redbubble. Would love to get the OG Malmix design, just the rainbow, uh, without the logo for my paper white. Would this be feasible to add? Are they not on there? Make a reminder. Put it in your cellular telephone. Remind me tomorrow at 11 a.m. to check Kindle covers on Redbubble for plain Malmix background. works okay you don't know what she's gonna pick up mm -hmm. on you really don't um have you ever thought of offering um you're welcome covers that are made of um denim pies there's a denim hobonichi cover this year and it's really cool the denim evokes a very particular feel and mm -hmm. era mm -hmm. to be fair when i when i see some an object wrapped in denim my brain is like no i also feel that way about um denim uh i guess jackets denim jackets or denim vests mm -hmm. it oh den you know what it is denim on the top half of the body you don't like it? Well, it's not that I don't even like it. It's just that, like, it, it when I see it, my brain goes, that's not where the denim goes. Denim can go anywhere. But, like, that is that is very specifically what it is. Denim below the waist. When denim is above the waist, I'm like, what? The denim jacket is the closest thing to being, like, normal. But it, it, even now, a denim jacket feels a little dated, depending on... Yeah. When I so when I was when I was a kid, when I was a kid, I had a denim jacket, um, and it had coffee. It had rhinestones and sequined patches all over it because that was my aesthetic. I also wore cowboy boots as a child. 
There was an entire period of my uh, life where I <laughs> I basically dressed like a like a '60s country star. I get a bolo tie. I'm sure your mom loved that. Like, actually, there's photos. There's loved that. There are photos of me, and I'm like, I don't know how old I was. Probably like five. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I, I just, and like, it's not Halloween. It's not. I've seen some of those photos. No, no. I need, I need you to understand. That was not Halloween. That's just. I know like, exactly where one is. You want me to go get it? Yeah. Let me see it. But yeah. Um, yeah, th that's not like a Halloween thing. I just dressed like that. Not all the time, but more than once. Like, I'm sure that I didn't dress myself. I didn't dress myself until this I- This isn't the one I'm thinking of. No. That's like a- That was like a, I went to yeah. the studio. You're, you're welcome to search. I'll read some alerts. Go ahead. Uh, Anise gifted to sub two, Mr. Deathkills. We got 34 months from Lavender Cats, 36 from Cock9. And then keep clapping because we got 36 months from Pink Matima. Two threes. Here's a game. Starving. Fierce. Delightful. The new real-time strategy game starring Palette Swap Tales earns a 1.6 out of 10 from IGN. Starving. Palette Swap Tales. It's it's fierce, it's delightful, it's starving. It's starving for content. That was a bit some shy. It says extra life game time. Yeah, it's a it's a, it's a new new game. From Sonic Team, and uh, IGN's complaint was, you know, it's 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 a it's a great game, but it's uh, it's eight minutes long, and we're just really surprised that Sonic Team released this game. They're like, it has a beginning, middle, and end. Like, don't get dollar game. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's not like they didn't finish it. They finished it. It's just eight minutes long, and we feel like it's starving for content. It's got a good gameplay loop. I mean, there's one loop, one, just one loop in it. <laughs> Thank you, Shy. Uh, we got Anise gifting five subs to uh, JMag0064, Valdos9, Trevbot911, Tidy Seabiscuit, and Mr. Observador Anise. Thank you. Uh, 25 months from Private Brother for Christ. Three and a bits from Jay Lineback says, Happy Mario Wonder Eve! And here's to another breakfast stream from the retirement community. I, I mean, the Raleigh Collective. Got done with the Pikmin 4 VOD for context. Ah, yes. Pikmin 4 was a good time this week. Yes, it was. I've had some... These There's been some good streams this week. Pikmin 4 was really good. Um, I really enjoyed playing Starfield yesterday. Got to do some fun stuff there. And then uh, tomorrow night... You know what that means. Yeah, we're not playing Mario Wonder. We're playing Zelda! We'll be playing Zelda tomorrow. I know folks will be... Coffee interested in the idea of us playing Mario. Uh, we'll look at that just a little further down the line when we have time to breathe. I have time to breathe. But I, I I would love Alex and Haley to join us for another Mario game. Because it's been a bit. We got 13 months from the re register 0319. Three into bits from Genesis. It says, "Today I finally get my transparent blue analog pocket. I Ooh. ordered a pocket back when it first came out and loved it. Uh, it's my, it's my go-to way to play Game Boy and Game Boy Advance. Nice. Also nice grabbing one because those things sold out in like yep. a minute. It was real quick. Real real quick. Yeah. I, I, did I talk about it on Breakfast Stream or just Starfield? I think just Starfield." Analog announced the Analog 3D, which is a N64 that mm -hmm. plays carts at 4K. They're targeting a release next year. And I'm like, that's cool. That's cool. It is moments at like it's moments like that that I'm glad that the N64 library is done, so yeah. I don't have to like figure that out. So They'll 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 probably do a pre-order system. I think the problem that Analog has had 
a little bit in the past is that they've had like waves of popularity where like they'll they'll be they'll come out with a thing they'll be like hey pre-order this like you can sign up yeah. for a thing and be like i want this we're going to make whatever and then those come out and they're really popular and then everyone's like where are they we can't buy them because they didn't hit that thing but they've also done times where they had low stock too so Haley says, I love Haley and Alex. I love Stephen and Mal. <laughs> love yourself. Here's a bit some tricky Anthony that says, Cactus update. He screams while he poops. Not an exciting update, but sure is an update. Oh. Kepler's quite silent. Like, just in general as a cat. He doesn't talk much. So, like, my first thought would be, like, is there just, like, a little bit of constipation or something? Um, might be something to mention to a vet, but also it could just be an exciting quirk. <laughs> just an exciting quirk days or he just wants you to know that he's pooping same it's like when i go to the bathroom i'm like what you up to you're like i'm working what are you up to i'm like mm, guess guess what i'm doing it's fine from time to time everyone screams while they poop sometimes it's for fun and sometimes it's just part of the process we also had 30 months for mr dr max thanks could you not find the photo you needed? I posted it. It's in the art queue. Oh, remember I was like, I want to see it. There it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, 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 a, this is a great example. This is not Halloween. This is not Halloween. That is a denim shirt, a denim jacket, denim pants, a cowboy hat, and cowboy boots. <laughs> like God, bring this fit back. Yeah, the littlest cowboy. I was not is kidding about that. Is, is, is that done yet? Um. <laughs> As a Texan, this is the most Montana outfit. <laughs> yeah, right. Sorry, you didn't get the screen. I, I did. Like, I wouldn't have said no, but I, I did want to see it first. I wanted to make sure it was the right image. I knew it was. Oh, there, I think there's more than that, but that's that's one of them. Yeah, it's um, it's a it's an iconic part of um, my life. I think that's is that part of the song. I think it's I think that was part of the song. Which guabs <laughs> don't. <laughs> Bobs don't. <laughs> there's some other, there's like some other, like, like answering machine stuff on those other tracks, so. There's a C418 song that ends in the chicken dying in Minecraft. Okay! Yeah, and it always throws me. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, that was, that was what my, um, childhood looked like. I mean, there's, like, more to it. But that was, like, most of it. It was, like, most of it. There's a art? It's art. Minions Minecraft House. That's right, we can play Minecraft. I forget that. Overlord Dark Legend. The Minions Minecraft House. Thank you, Big Feared Balloon. One of the things that advertising overlord dark legend has done because of the art because it's like all it's so much of it's been crossover art is it it's reminding me of other games that are on the systems like i'm for like oh yeah minecraft is on wii u minecraft is eligible to play uh -huh. for extra life so that is an option if you're a big uh what do they call them My minecraft head minecraft your big minecraft head then uh 30 minutes of Steven digging a hole. 
Is is uh is Minecraft Wii U support split screen? Probably, right? Most of the console editions did. Because so, that would be neat. You could have like a little contest. To like first person pro like first person to get like get a diamond or something. You can get a diamond in 30 minutes in Minecraft, right? Like, generally. You don't have to do it, Mallory. Uh, no, there are 11 people. No, there are. I say the word Minecraft and mouse shrivels up. Like, uh... Do I get to choose who does it? I mean, I think the most qualified person is Brandon. I think Brandon has played more Minecraft than anyone else. So, that's my suspicion. Noah says yes, I actually can confirm. Yeah. Yeah, he, um, Brandon, Brandon played, like, a fair bit. I have played over 2,000 hours. Well, there you go. <laughs> Minecraft on the Wii U kind of sucked. <laughs> but it's Minecraft. <laughs> You know, before, I don't know, dolphins or whatever. Speaking of extra life, we could take a look at um, the totals. Do you want to see the totals? I do, very much so. Are you, are you ready for the totals? Mm -hmm. Hold on. To what? Kepler, hold me, Kepler. <laughs> what are you no, doing? No, give me my hand back. <laughs> what, are, what are you doing? What are you doing? All right, let's take a look at the Minecraft. Minecraft totals. Let's look at these <laughs> Minecraft totals. Uh, I don't think there's been any change. No, wait, no. Is Puyo dropped it? No, it? speed zones higher. Mm. Speed zones higher. I think, unless I've lost my mind, which is possible. Barnyard is at twelve fifty. Overlord Dark Legend at ten twenty five. Mario Party Four at ten fifteen. Freddy Fish at 1,000, Speed Zone at 600, Mario Super Sluggers at 550, and Poya Pop at 405. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> last night... Um, quite late last night. Quite late last night. Jeff uh, Jeff sent me a message and was like... Um, I think, was it Becca? Was it Sapphire Becca? was mentioning about, like, oh, you know, a good second game for you could be Barnyard. Mm-hmm. And I told him, I was like, I was like, I'll switch it for you if you want. I was like, but actually, Barnyard is in the lead. <laughs> Thomas says, where's Odama? Wow. I can't believe this. Where is Odama? Not, We're in, gonna the, have the, not in the top seven. The world record speed run holder for Odama here. Yeah. I can't believe we're going to have the world record speed run holder for Odama. And, and we it's not might, in the top we, seven. We might not play Odama. Wow. Hey, come here. You want some wow. bold coffee? Chaz says, I would prefer Odama to be played at like 5 a.m. Chaz, Chaz definitely has like an order of operations that he would prefer games. I And I understand that. I get it. There's, Extra Life is an interesting event because there's, you know, there are some games that, um, are just better content mm -hmm. and are more fun in a group setting and you generally want those played earlier while yes. everyone is awake and coherent and coherent and there are more people on twitch mm -hmm. so when they tune in they're like more like invested in like oh this is like a big party thing this is fun um and then you want like the loopy stuff to kind of kind of come in a little bit after later after midnight after midnight you want or you got like this eight hour chunk that you can play a fair bit. Oh, it's issues. like it's the second half of the event, basically. Kidding. Second half of the event, you know. Like, uh... So I'm fine with uh, Odama not being top seven. I want Odama played because it would be, it would be a travesty. Um, but yeah, y'all could push for that a little bit later. Also, don't discount at all the fact that there are twelve hundred dollars in uh, roulette. Yeah, it's great. And uh, y'all have already. That's what was it? What are we, what are we at? <laughs> Sorry, I'm practicing to be an auctioneer. What? This is a soda can. Well, it's a coffee can. 
we're at $8,700. $8,715. That's wonderful. That's absolute. What? Oh, that's me! Sorry. I'm on the Extra Life page and I scrolled down and there's a video playing and I'm like, what video is this? What video is on my Extra Life page? <laughs> this one. And then I looked and it's a live stream and it's me. It's now, it's this. How delayed is this? Oh, it's pretty delayed. Okay. Well, anyway. Was he neat. moving around too much for you? Do you have to come over here? It's like looking into a mirror, but a very, very slow mirror. Very slow. This is a good time to let you know, again, Extra Life is in nine days. It is October 28th. Please put it on your calendars. Please join us. It is a 20-hour event. We raise money for um, McLeod Children's Hospital in Florence, South Carolina. It's always a good time. <sighs> 87 down, man. 8,700 down. Yeah. All we need now is $91,300. Just an easy $91,000. Easy. 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 Uh, we got 61 months from Cinderdog. Appreciate it. Doing a bit some shy. It says, uh, so yesterday I finally upgraded the GPU and PSU on my old uh, hand-me-down PC, going from a GTX 1070 to an RTX 3060. A significant upgrade that was also relatively cheap. After some calibration, it's working great, and I'm very excited. Nice! Very, very nice. Yeah, going up to the 3000 series is uh, a big jump. Um, 3000 series also unlocks... Uh, uh, a well, no, does it do AV1 encoding or just decoding? I think it just does AV1 decoding. It's fourth... I think you... I don't remember now. <laughs> I don't remember at this what point. Are you doing? Oh, the other thing you get at the 3000 series, um, and some some features are locked between like be, be behind like 60, 70, 80, but some of the 3000 series has um, the uh, the uh, what do they call it? The the audio processing, the video processing um, effects, oh like the AI uh, like background removal and the AI. Um, like voice cleanup stuff for for I think, streaming and is recording. Is there one where the eyes always look at the camera? Is that, that is a is thing you Alex can turn on. That is a thing you can turn on. I none of us like it. Yeah, it. I I wouldn't maybe turn that. Like it's a, it's a choice, right? Like, and maybe in a certain environment you could make that look good. <laughs> there is a feature in the in the newer graphics cards that you can turn on and what it does is it makes it where you're always looking at the camera even though you're not always. looking at the camera and the idea behind it is that if you if okay, the bye. other people you're talking to think that you're engaged that it's better for them <laughs> and you want it to be good for them um, these feel like some Dylan style moments. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, so yeah, it, it and like I'm not gonna knock the idea. I, I understand the idea. It's just it it can be a little disconcerting. It's one of those a things. A little. Uh, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. I understand the idea, but like it can be a little wild. It can be a little. A little much. It's a little much. Uh, we had um, 300 bits from the Relude. It says Minecraft Wii U is permanently on Update Aquatic, released in 2018, which includes dolphins and upgraded oceans. But I'm pretty sure you don't know what Guardians and Elder Guardians are, so that will be fun. Oh, so there are dolphins! Okay. Well, um. Make us play Minecraft. Someone, someone put $25 into Minecraft on Wii U. There's Leica with the filter. That's a lot. It is. This is a lot. This is... This is not a great example of what the filter does, because it's not designed for dogs. <laughs> She's fabulous. Mm. 
but it will work on dogs. It's a great example. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know how that filter decided what to do. One of the more, more one of the more uh, helpful ones is probably the um, the cutout thing where it just cuts out your background. Yeah. And that's like that's neat. Um, I think the thir the three it's the three thousand series that can do it. It might mean it might require the thirty seventy, but I don't know. You can look into it. Um. Anyway, yeah, if someone wants to throw $25 towards uh, Minecraft, that will at least make it eligible for roulette. Um, I think I think if Minecraft showed up, it'd be, it'd be fun. We would do some sort of... I, th I think uh, the best way to do it would be to uh, go into survival, two players, first person to get a diamond wins. It's just like a race or something. That would be fun. That'd be entertaining. Uh, we got 12 months. From Cat Lizard. Congrats on the one. So I've been playing Persona 5. <laughs> and those of you that have played it, you know which battle the timed battle is. The boss fight. It's been like three days I've been trying. I didn't get to try yesterday, so it's really been two days. Yeah, um... Yes. The last time I played, I died at the last hit. You know that last hit that you have to survive? That one. Yeah, so I had, I, when, when Mao, so Mao is just like breezed through this game. Oh, I, completely. I breezed through that palace. Everything's been really easy. Like Mao hasn't really had any problems at all. Mm -hmm. And then she got to this fight and I was actually watching when she got to the fight. And the fight was like, like very quickly we realized the pattern of like, oh, yeah. Well, this is bad, mm -hmm. and you know, Mao was Mao was getting frustrated. She's like, "Why have I I've not struggled at all through this game?" Yeah. So then I Googled it, and uh, for those that aren't aware, because there's people, folks that don't know about Persona, I didn't. Uh, there's there's Persona Five, and then there's Persona Five Royal, which is what Mao's playing. It's basically an an updated version that has more stuff in it. And I actually looked at the wiki article. Uh, or the fan wiki article that shows the differences. It's a lot more stuff. Like it's, it's not just like oh, it's a remake or whatever. It's like it's a lot of stuff that they added into it, including an additional like thirty hours of gameplay. Other characters that have been integrated almost yeah. flawlessly into the game. It's there's a lot. Um, so it's def if you're if you're just if you are just in the year of our Lord twenty twenty three choosing to play Persona five, I would I would probably. That's you. Yeah. Um, I would probably seek out Royal. I mean, if you already if you already own Persona Five and you don't want to bother getting a new copy, like I understand, but like Royal has a lot of stuff in it. But one of the changes that they made from the base game to Royal was they made the boss fight that Mao was on harder. And I was like, ah, interesting. And um, what one of the things we found out is that there's like a trick to it. So you yeah. have to utilize a, a, a game, a, a mechanic in the game called Baton Pass, which allows you to like, you do some damage, and then you pe you let another party member do some damage, and you let another party, and you keep going, and as you go, the every attack gets like stronger and stronger, and um, like Baton Pass was something that I was knew, using, you knew I was about actively using. Well, you knew about, mm -hmm. but like. They teach that mechanic. Yeah, boss has a trick. Yeah, exactly. Man, what's the boss in Final Fantasy X? There's a boss in Final Fantasy X. Simon, is that the boss? That it's like you have to know what to do. Whew, sorry, Seymour. 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 Sorry, I just, I just have, I have very vivid, very vivid memories of being young. How old was I when I was playing that game? Like thirteen, and like getting to see more and just be, and just thinking, what is happening? Why? <laughs> like understanding, like there's a trick. I need to figure this out. Um, anyway, so the mechanic that Mal needed was taught to her early in the game, and I'd been using and it. And Mal understood it, but there was a key yeah. aspect you didn't. There was. Mm -hmm. There was a key aspect you didn't. And once once we knew it, it was like, oh. Mm -hmm. 
but still, it's a 30 minute boss fight. There's a timer on screen for 30 minutes. And that's that has not been quite enough time. It's been almost enough time. Mm -hmm. But not quite enough time. Yeah, Mao, Mao was... Generally how the battle was going is Mao was doing... Uh, yes, Noah. Like an attack for all of the enemies. Which yeah, is like I wasn't... Makes... With that boss fight, because you need to get Baton Pass four times, I was only getting it like once or twice because I was knocking everyone down. Yeah. And once you do that, you can't baton pass. Yeah. It's an it's actually a neat battle mechanic. So it was like an intricacy of baton pass I had missed. Yeah, it, there's a, it's a neat it's a neat battle mechanic. Mm -hmm. You know, if you do if you hit a if you hit an enemy with uh, an element attack that they're weak against, then you get to go again. But it, you you can't do that once they've already been hit with a weak attack. Yeah. So if there's four enemies, you have to keep targeting each one individually. And if they're all the same, not every character has that element. So it's yeah. a bit of a process, but yeah. Mal, Mal got there. Yeah. It's just, it's just, you know. Yeah, and then I didn't play it yesterday. The day before when I played it, I died once to the timer because I had been busy talking to someone while I was playing. Yeah. And then the second time, um, the last hit is a you need to survive this hit, and I didn't. At some point. That was really sad, because I had gotten through the Well, the, the thing is, thing. the thing is, you're like, you're there. I know. You're there. You just, if you do it just a little bit quicker, and you get a little bit luckier, you'll have it. <laughs> I got better. <laughs> anyway. Uh, we got 15 months from Your Psyche. Uh, subscription from Lonely Minion, welcome. And uh, 300 bits from Renegade Retro Games. It says, "Finally caught your stream." Oh, did you did you pick up that DK64 not for resale cart I sold you? No. <laughs> I haven't. I Hello, have. By the way. Uh, hi, by the way. I have not been back. <laughs> I to haven't. See Roland. I haven't been, been back to see Roland. So Roland still has it. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Uh, but I haven't, I haven't been back to get it. I can't travel. I know. Yeah. You'd have to go by yourself. Yeah, it, it's, the timing on everything has been not super, super great. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, once you had surgery, being in the car for longer than, like, 15 minutes mm -hmm. is not mm -hmm. fun. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I need to go back to I Merlin. drove yesterday. I was surprised. First time, I, know. I was surprised you did. Um, I need to go back to Myrtle Beach, like to. S <laughs> to get I, back. I need to go back to Myrtle Beach just to like see my family, because <laughs> I haven't been back in a while. Um, so I need to do that. You know what I should do is I should just have my mom go pick up the game. She could. Or have Roland, like, drop it by the house or something. That makes sense. That would make sense. Mm -hmm. Or Dan. I don't know when he's gone. Dan, Probably not. Dan goes not back before to... before Extra Life. No, not before Extra Life. But Dan goes back to uh, Myrtle Beach more often than I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could come up with a solution to, okay. <laughs> to get this thing. <laughs> At some point. It's like November. I'm going home in November. Yeah, for Thanksgiving. I'm going home in November. Are you going to be okay in the car? I'm not yet. We'll see. We can give you like a thing to bite down on. I don't know if that'll. I don't know if that'll help. Here's a snack. Your brunch will be extraordinary with Tiny Eddie's barbecue massive nectar bark. Oh boy, there's a lot to process here. We got a thousand bits from Valix who says good morning. I was out in the rain last night for two hours for work. Eddie, what should I have this morning to warm oh, me up? I'm sorry. That sucks, and I am sorry about that. Uh, I don't know that this will help. <laughs> Barbecue, massive nectar bark. So it's 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 bark covered in barbecue, and the bark is in, in imbued with a nectarines. A, yeah, a, yes. Barbecue and nectarines. That would go. Like peach barbecue. Nectarines are kind of peaches. 
fruit leather, but with barbecue flavors. I don't want that. There's nothing wrong with it existing, but I don't want it. I, I do not desire that. <laughs> not Haley today. Says, I'll barbecue your nectarines. Grilled peaches are amazing. They are. They really are. We it's... haven't done them in so long. You know. You know, I need to go to the farmer's market soon. We, we could do such a thing. We could. It would not be Im impossible to do. Are peaches still in season here? I don't know. Uh, I'll go to the farmer's market and see. I haven't, I haven't grilled a lot of... Haley says, you are the only people who own a barbecue here. True, out of the three of us. Yeah, we could do like a thing. Yeah. That would be fine. Mm -hmm. Or, um, after or... Extra Life, mm -hmm. you know. That's happened before, I think. Is it Paw Paw season? Not in Raleigh. Padawan Becca, I have it on my calendar. Raleigh season is early August. Um, and there was a lot going on early August, and it was too hot to go forage. M. Tappet says, you want to grill? Yeah, we've owned a grill for a long time. We have a charcoal grill. It's a very simple, like... Kettle. Uh, Kettle, charcoal grill. Mm -hmm. You know, the black black sphere. We own one black sphere. The round. Um, the last... the Actually, I think the last time that I used the grill was when I had amnesia last yeah <laughs> and that was at this house that was at this house though mm -hmm. that was here um a weber yeah we have a weber a weber built. that's the mm -hmm. that's the thing is it ostrich egg season or is that may I thought it, no i thought that was may because we talked about it with um with the uh, coliseum yeah. yeah man man yeah, I, d I remember the last time I used the grill because I don't remember it. I remember it though. I like it's just it's like a it's like a story with holes. You know what I mean? You were supervised. Yeah. It's not like I don't you're... think I could have hurt myself. No. It's, you you don't. It's like you know when you drive sometimes and then you're like, how did I get home? Yeah, it's very like autopilot yes. type thing. Yeah, that's what. It's, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's similar. There's like there's definitely yeah it's a Swiss cheese story. There's definitely holes, um, in like the 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 day. Uh, but that's fine. It's fine. You in like as a reminder. Now that I've had this three times, I'm like okay. I'm just gonna. This is just gonna be a thing. Like every eighteen to twenty four months, we can appreciate. In this house, we appreciate holes. You were about to say that too, right? Probably. What? <laughs> Stop. Get help. <laughs> That's why we have a cathedral under our house. It's a holy house. Oh, that's not coffee. Don't ruin the illusion. <laughs> it doesn't have to be coffee. I just have water in a mug today. But there's like... Look at the bottom of my cup. What the... Like that came out either with the, the ice or the water. Like dirt. <laughs> Well, let's keep an eye on it. <laughs> Yet you're still drinking it. What's well, at the bottom? The water part's at the top. The the dirt or whatever that is is at the bottom. Super she says, I don't know if you've heard of the new Jack Walk is out. It's out. Is it out? Made by real pinstriped phantasms. Tiny Eddie's scrambled sailboat flavored purple toothbrush loaf. That was so much. There's a lot. Sage of Stars. Uh, Tiny Eddie, what is the best food to grill? Hmm. Scrambled? 
sailboat flavored, which is is something. Purple. You can't you can't lie to people about the color, Eddie. Like you can be like llamas or beef, but like you can't do purple. Purple is something you can see. Maybe it's purple-ish. Maybe it, or maybe it's a gaslighting thing. It's like, it's orange and, and Tiny Eddie's like, you like the purple toothbrush loaf? And everyone's like, what's orange? And Eddie's like, it's purple. Like, this is just my like monthly reminder I want a sailboat. What's a toothbrush loaf? Oh, you know, it's just um toothbrush loaf. Wow. I know. You handled that perfectly. <laughs> really added a lot. <laughs> See, if it was toothpaste loaf, I could get behind that, because that's like a thing. I'm like, ah, oh, you could, you could, you shouldn't eat toothpaste. You gotta call the Poison Control Center. But at least that's like a, that's the, it's closer to food than toothbrush. Toothbrush. <laughs> and it's I'm wearing one right now, Brandon. Mm, no, this is very decidedly gray. Are we trying to decide what color... This shirt is? Yeah. That's gray. No, this is a blue. Yeah, I would call this blue. Mm -hmm. There's a bet there's probably a better word for it than blue, but but yeah. It's, it's... heathered. It's dark heathered blue. It's That's um the lines in it that's heathered. Yeah, but, well yeah, but the, the the color itself is a little uh it's it's a little like blue green. And then of course this year's Extra Life shirts are black. The other, the other thing is that, like, you know, have we done a good enough job with the the color on our end? Ah, and true. then their display, whatever they're watching on, mm -hmm. can be wildly wrong. You just have you to need, assume everyone's display is wrong. You just need to go calibrate everyone's display. No. <laughs> no. That's actually one of the that's one of the things they teach you in like uh, in. Uh, post-production for like the color stuff because uh, someone always asks at the beginning of the class like if everyone's displays are wrong what is the point in trying correcting a movie in yeah what mm -hmm. is the point in trying to make your stuff look as accurate as possible and the answer is if you're starting from a good point it can only be you know this wrong if you're starting from a wrong point it can be very wrong so you have to aim for like the best thing that you can. <laughs> That's why. Haley, I'd love that. If you want to come do that. I actually don't own a... Calibration? A caliber. I should. I absolutely should. I sh I, That's something that has been on a to-do list of mine for, like, years. I just never have. Uh, Dan has one, and I borrow his. And his is old. So, like, at some point, I need to just probably get, like, a newer one. Uh, we got 300 bits from Spiffler says, so about that pinned message on Josh's stream last night. Listen. Cucumbers. 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 You didn't break in yesterday. You were invited in. It's true. It is true. It's true. You just didn't need assistance to get inside the house. I've never needed assistance to get inside the house. No. I can just get in. I'm allowed in. People just allow me in their homes, and they know it's because I'll be good. I'll go in, I'll organize their stuff, I'll clean their, I'll clean their house. They're like, why would you keep me out? You, you, you want me in. Yeah, Brandon had gone to bed, and we all went upstairs to help Josh with the Sword of Kings, and Brandon popped his head out of his door and was like, what's going on? It's actually on video. I was vlogging at the time. I was filming. Yeah, Brandon, did you know there was a camera in your face? I was, I was, I was, I was filming because I was on my way to Josh's room, and then, like, I turn, and Brandon's standing there, like, rubbing his eyes, like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, go back to bed. And he goes, all right. And then he leaves. 
it was it was great. Yes, yesterday uh, Josh uh, did a stream, uh, three and a half hour, yeah. almost four hour mm -hmm. stream, of just trying to hunt the Sword of Kings in Earthbound. Um, for those that are not aware, there's an enemy in Earthbound. It's the only chance in the game that you can you can get it is this area. If you miss it, you can't go back. And the enemy has a one in one hundred and twenty eight chance of dropping this this special weapon. And uh, Josh fought... Over 200. Yeah, like probably 215, 220 of these enemies and did not get it. And I was like, I felt so bad. Yeah. And by the end, by the end, he was questioning whether it was real. He's like, what if everyone's just lied to me? <laughs> and I was like, I feel bad. I feel bad, but he, uh, he, he did not, he did not get it. Did he only get one item drop? Linebacks. Uh, he got, he got a, a super, super bomb. bomb from the, um, atomic robot. Is that, what did he is do? Is it? No, I thought he got, who drops the super bomb? I thought, is it not the super, the Starman super? Do they have both? I don't know. I don't know. Or is it the Starman? I don't know. I Spy Moose says he saw the clip of me getting it. Yeah, I did send him the clip of me getting it, that one extra life. So he's seen that. Yeah. Missing No Leader says he also missed a few because he got that super bomb. No. I don't think so. I I don't I don't believe that that's how that works. I think he was okay. Because if you, if you, the, the, the issue that people were concerned about was that if Jeff's inventory was full, mm -hmm. Chaz can confirm this, Chaz would know. But you would still see it, wouldn't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There even, was a few he didn't spy on and ran from before he spied on. Yeah. But the, the thing is like, and like, it's, it's true. The ones that he didn't spy on and just accidentally yeah. ran from, like those could have had the sword. But like, the thing is. Every time you get into a fight, you're rolling the high Morning, dice. Morning, Josh. Every time you, about you. Every time you get into a fight, you're rolling the dice, right? Yeah. So, like, you're not building up to, yeah. like, oh, well, now I'll definitely get it. Like, the probability... There's no guarantee. The probability's mm -hmm. not increasing. And it does suck because, like, you know, when people play Earthbound for the first time, I've been asked many times over the years, like, should I try and get the Sword of Kings? Where's the guide? I was going to pull it. I was curious about something. There's three spots where it could be. They're all together, I'm sure. I know they are. You can, you can find it. When people play Earthbound. When, when people, people have asked me over the years, like, when they play Earthbound, should they get the Sword of Kings? And, like, it's, I think it's part of the experience in a way. Like, part of the experience is is going through and, and hunting for it because it feels very Earthbound. Like, it's a part of Earthbound that is very memorable and iconic. But it is very easy to completely over-level. Some people care about that. Some people don't. It's also, you're getting closer to the end of the game, so it doesn't matter as much. And as Josh learned last night, it doesn't even matter... It doesn't even matter if if you uh, if you if you just get bodied by the enemy anyway, and that's a great point too. Chess says Pooh's bash still isn't good with it compared to his psi abilities. Completely true. So even though it'll be more manageable, even though it'll be more manageable, like having an extra thirty offense for Pooh you're still going to be better off using his psychic moves. And you can keep using them because Pooh knows Magnet, so he can get some of his stuff back, so... It's like a rite of passage type thing, but it doesn't actually matter. However, Josh has not completely lost his chance to get the weapon. Correct. And that is because, after finishing the, sec the section, I was like, you might as well just beat the boss because you're close enough. Like, mm -hmm. it, it would take just as much time to beat the boss as it would just be to leave. And he's like, okay. And then he died. Uh, so. Well, he went to fight the Starman Deluxe. And the Starman Deluxe called a super, but he didn't get a chance to spy on it. That would have been. That would have been great. There would've, I would have loved that. That would have been I'm so sure that fun. was the one that had it. Right? That was definitely the one. <laughs> 
But but since Josh died, he's back outside of the cave and he has to walk back through. So yeah. on his way back in, he'll probably fight at least three. Mm-hmm. So there's the three more, little more chances. You never know. You never know. Oh, see, now that's interesting. But Chaz, why? Why? Chaz says, I'm fairly certain called, called enemies don't contribute to item drops. Really? Because item drop is calculated at the start of battle. Ugh. Yeah, that's what Chaz had told me last week or two weeks ago when I asked. I said, when does it decide that? And he said, start of battle at the swirl, he thinks. At the swirl. So what you could do, and this, and this would be my recommendation for anyone who wants the sword, but doesn't want to feel mm -hmm. overleveled for the rest of Earthbound, is most people these days are going to be playing Earthbound on the Switch for NSO. Um, just make a save state. Like, get into the area, make a save state. If you really want to get it. If you really, really want to get it, make a save state. And um, the best thing to do would be to make a save state right before you touch the Starman. Mm -hmm. Because if, if that's how it calculates it, then every time you touch it, it's going to recalculate it. So then you can, like, save state, get the green swirl. Did you get it? Nope. Load state. And then just do that. That would be the fastest way. Mm -hmm. Is yeah, cheese it because you also don't get over leveled that way. Yeah, and th well, that's what you're trying Lance to avoid. Says, Isn't there rewind? Yeah, there's also rewind. <laughs> That'd probably be easier than do 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 menu oh, yeah. menu menu. Okay, yeah, you could just yeah, you could rewind. So, you know what's interesting about the guide? What's that? Where it says the Starman Super has the Sword of Kings. It says it's about a one in one twenty eight. There's the word about there. Well, don't, this, don't take this as very... this has errors. Yes, there is a rather. If you can't stand the suspense, use Jeff's spy command to peek at each Starman super. This is a great guide. This is such a good guide. This is a good guide. I was telling Josh about it, because uh, Josh hasn't... Once you, Josh, once you finish Earthbound, come look at one of these guides, because like... Like, like show... here, like, it's like an ad to go to deep darkness. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a tourism... Yeah. Thing. And uh, like it has um, population, average temperature, average age, average rainfall, fast facts, how many mosquitoes are in deep darkness. And, and so there's, it's twofold, right? Uh -huh. There's the, whenever you get to a new area, there's this is like the exploration guide. And then this is like a newspaper and there's newspaper articles written for things. So if you go. They also made 3D clay models that are only in the guide that were never like yeah and then they at one point last year i think they used them for hobonichi techo covers and like, everyone's like they still exist they didn't get tossed so like if you look at this so this is like a winter's newspaper yeah and like it so one of the articles is bad key machine invented while technicians at Maxwell Labs refuse to confirm or deny reports of a breakthrough in locksmith technology industry insiders hint that a revolutionary new tool has been invented for opening doors they can't tell anyone, because if they did, thieves might steal the device and use it on doors everywhere, explained Anthony Big Mouth. Detailed technician, uh, or detailed technical specifications for the device recently appeared on the internet. I love it. And then it says, like, C key machine page A3, as if it was continued somewhere in the... Newspaper. The newspaper, mm -hmm. but it's not there. It's just... I don't know. This... I loved this player's guide as a kid, man. Like I, the most haunted it. spiders all desire Tiny Eddie's rumored dog balls. You know, all right. So I guess I have to read this now. <laughs> Thousand bits from Leaf who says, Tiny Eddie, what would be a good victory snack? For one that manages to acquire the Sword of Kings. Tiny Eddie's rumored dog balls. Hey, Vagabond. Well, Breakfast Stream had a good run. <laughs> Have you heard the latest rumor? <laughs> What's Tiny Eddie cooking up?
the best snacks are the ones that are just like two words. Uh, we did that 300 bits from Shy. Says Stephen got to show off his masterful bathing skills on Josh's stream last night. One could say he's a master. I should stop. I did. Uh, I. Well, it was funny because uh, last night before bed, I, I went back and I looked at the clip that happened right after we left. Yes. Because I wasn't. I didn't get to see that part of the stream. And while I was over at at, at Josh's place, I I showed because Josh. Josh did pretty well overall. He really did. Mm -hmm. um, but where he was lacking a little bit was when there were two starmen. He would sometimes just run from both of them. Well, or he would get both of them. Yeah. Which is which is bad because if you get both of them, you're definitely in a battle. And you, you don't have to deal with that. And then it takes you know ten times longer. Mm -hmm. So that's was one of the things I was I was trying to illustrate it was like you know you got to be real careful, lead them away. So I was doing a good job with that. And then I watched the clip. And like right after we left, Josh just did the same thing again. And then was like, he knew he did it. So he was like, he starts laughing. He's like, I did the thing. He's like, they were just over here. And they were like, here, do, make this sure you do, you do it. This is how you do it. And he's like, as soon as they left, I learned nothing and just did it again. And I was like, well, I can't help you. But also, I mean, you did 200 something battles. Like yeah. you can't. It sucked. I feel We bad. were sad for you. I really wanted you to find it. I wanted you to find it in the first five minutes. Yes. Yeah. It just didn't happen. G Sammer also gifted a sub to Sword of Kings. On uh, on the Starman.net forums, users would put themselves through remarkably difficult challenges. Um, for fun. <laughs> Nick, I thought about it. Uh, Remarkably difficult challenges for fun. Um, and there have been more than one occasions where I have seen people post images where, like, Pooh's inventory is completely full of swords. Yeah. And, like, that's, that's like, a mark of, like, look what I did. Yeah. And to me, I'm like, that's a mark of that you have a lot of time. <laughs> you just have a lot of time. There was a lot of different challenges, like... The T Rex bat is there's fun. There's the T Rex bat challenge. I like that one. There's the house challenge. Yep. To get the uh, to buy the house before you even leave on it. I did that for the first as time. A, yeah, you I did, did that, that as a kid <laughs> just because I I was having so much fun. I've done the T Rex bat, and yeah. I remember someone went and got all the one one twenty eight items. Yep. Jeff Mann. Jeff Mann got that for Jeff a Mann. Jeff Mann is the one that did that, and Jeff Mann. I'll was... try to remember Josh. Jeff Mann was the one that did all the 1 and 128 items, and then Jeff Mann was responsible for coding Mother 3's translation patch. Oh, okay. So, like, you could say a fan of the Mother series. <laughs> How many 1 128 are there? Uh, there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot. I think there's, like, 30 or 40. Mm -hmm. Chaz might have an exact number, but there's a lot of them. So, yeah. And some uh, of them are harder than the Sword of Kings. Isn't there one at the end that's just really a pain? Oh, I know what you're thinking of. Yeah. Yeah, the bionic kraken. Yeah. Not to spoil anything for Joshua. <laughs> but the but yeah, that enemy is a ridiculously difficult enemy. Mm -hmm. They have an incredibly low spawn rate. Mm -hmm. And they have a 1 in 128 item. Yeah. And it's a weapon, isn't it? Let me find out. It's the gut. It's the... Is it's, it's, gutsy bat? It's like I think the gutsy, it's gutsy bat. bat. Yeah, it's... Uh, that's a bad time, man. I've never gotten that. I have never in my life. I've played Earthbound multiple times, and I don't think I've ever gotten that item. Because it's just like, by the time you get to where it is, I'm like, no. No. I don't want to do that. Really? <laughs> You're just, I get the gutsy bat more often than the Sword <laughs> of Kings. Yeah. It doesn't say. It doesn't say. Not in the guide. Well, it's up here, but it's in it's in the other place. Can't say the what the place is called. Josh hasn't been there. It's here. Oh, it's there. Yep, there it is. Oh, okay. Isn't there a Paula one here though? A what? Isn't there a Paula weapon that you get here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. The holy fry pan, is that what I'm thinking of? Is that a one in 128? 
I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't remember all this stuff. There was a time in my life where I absorbed knowledge and video game knowledge. And, like, this, a lot of the stuff that I learned in childhood, like, I kept. And some of it wasn't true because it was just... Which is a different problem. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> Uh, in adulthood, like, I can't, I can't get the new information. So it's good that I learned as much as I did about some things when I was younger, so now I have it. Mm -hmm. Everything else, I'm like, I can't do that. You still know, like, all the release dates? Yeah. For video games coming up, and now I'm like, oh my god, no, I don't do that. <laughs> I only know about video game release dates when the companies email me. <sighs> When Ubisoft is like, there's a new thing. I'm like, oh, okay, that's coming out. That's why I was surprised here. Is Jackbox actually out? It comes out around Extra Life every year, but I can't remember the date. That's true. Jackbox, Party Pack 10. Nine, 10. Everyone says it's out. Please do this. What? They normally email me. <laughs> they didn't. The jerks. Yeah, it's out. It can't. No, no. It, yeah, it's out as of uh, today. It's out as of today. It's out as of today. Comes out October nineteenth. That's today. Ah. Ah. Well, normally, yeah. Normally they email me early. There's well, it's been different. Some years they have are emailed me early and they're like, "Here's a code. Thanks for doing Jackbox." And I was like, "No problem." Yep, Haley. And then other times I've had to email them, and I haven't heard from them, so I might send them an email and be like, Hi. You've done this before again, please? Can, can you? Like, well, in like, if they don't, I'm, I'm going to... So that's the thing. They can yeah. call my bluff. Yeah. Right? They can call my bluff because they know I'll buy the game. <laughs> like, you don't, need a, you don't need a code for this. You, you, you know you're going to buy the game. You know you're going to do content on it. And I'm like, hmm. But what if, but what if you just gave? Gave? I'll do videos on it. Yeah, there's TKO2, um, which... We are excited. I'm for. excited about. I'm excited. Uh, Luna Gazer gifted a sub in, to... I said in. <laughs> Luna Gazer gifted a sub in the GC, Nick. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. Thank you, Lunar Gazer. Uh, we should, we should wrap up. We should. Um, okay. He just sat on my lap the whole, the whole time. He sat mm -hmm. here for all of, like, two minutes, and then he went back to you. He did? He uh -huh. left? Yeah. Cat ownership. Yep. Not knowing. We need a sample of every lap. God, he's so happy. He loves you so much. He just looks at you. He's a good boy. Did we roll beans? I don't no, think so. No, we didn't. Button. Beans time. Uh, a few quick things. No other streams today. No. Nope. We got them all out of the way. We did We did Malmax. We did yep. Starfield. Mm -hmm. We did breakfast stream. Um, oh, the Malmax stream. Is that today? I think I have it scheduled for today. Let me check. Let me like double. Oh, they moved things around. Here it is. I don't like that they move things around. <laughs> they move things around. How am I supposed to know what I'm looking at? Uh, today, yes. So today at 4 p.m., the Malmax VOD will be out. And the Malmax VOD has content in it that was not in the stream. Because when we made the uh, Apple Crisp, mm -hmm. it takes so long to bake and so long to cool. Yeah that we did not have a chance to try it. So even if you were at Mouse Stream, you may want to catch the last few minutes of the VOD because um, I left all the equipment set up, so it's still in like the same spot. Yeah, we literally just turned the camera back on and recorded. So it's, um, there's that. That's- <laughs> Josh says, it was very good. Josh had some last night during stream. Yeah. Um, so check out, check out that VOD. Uh, there is Zelda tomorrow night uh -huh. at 8 p.m. Eastern, and that will be the last Zelda for a little bit because next week we'll be doing a test stream on Friday. So 
So tomorrow's will be the last Zelda for a little a little while, and uh, I don't even know what we were doing. I think we're just meandering. Yeah. Oh, I know what we need to do. Last week we were like, oh, we are going to go into the depths, and then we didn't. So maybe this week we'll finally depths. Yeah. Because we have like ten X's down there. Yeah. We'll, 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 yeah. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Um, and then, uh, I don't know what's Saturday. Something good. Watch whatever's on Saturday. The final thing I'm going to do is I have a vlog ready. So I can, like, give you a vlog to watch. It's a really good one. In the thumbnail, um, Brandon is holding a knife. <laughs> and Haley is looking at me like... Are you crazy? It's a good... Uh, oh, yeah, okay. I had to think about which what happened on that day. You remember when, when Brandon was just, like, waving around a knife? Like a normal, a normal thing. So, let me go ahead and get this released. And <laughs> it's out. <laughs> Did I do that? Brandon's catchphrase. No, do I need to protect you that. from Brandon? All right. In 32 months from Larry C. 24. Thank you. Uh, folks, I sincerely hope that you have a wonderful Thursday. I hope you enjoy that vlog. It's a good one. It's very, very funny. And um, we will see you tomorrow night. For Zelda. For Zelda. And don't forget, please don't forget, I, I, I know I, I keep hitting this drum, but it's only because you never know who's coming and going and who misses the information otherwise. Extra Life is in nine days. Next Saturday, October 28th, Extra Life 2023. Nine days. How exciting. Yeah. We d yep, we looked at totals. We're at $8,700. And I really expect next week's breakfast streams to be very interesting. Because the week of, things start happening. Mm -hmm. Things really start moving. Um, and I mentioned this like last week, but uh, the, uh, the folks at Extra Life are going to be sending out an email on our behalf. I think tomorrow, they tomorrow. said. Mm -hmm. So I think tomorrow, if you've donated to... Um, Extra our, life. our Extra Life event in the mm -hmm. past, I believe you'll get an email that just is like, hey, this event's coming up. So hopefully that makes sure more people are looped in. Big event, fun event, looking forward to it nine days away. Haley, you always do. Have a good Thursday, everyone. See you tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern for Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Depths. Someone remind us at the beginning of the stream that our intention is to depths. Our intention tomorrow night is cave activities. Oh.